Drinking Buddies. I am joined by my good friend Stephen here today. We are going to do the best bourbons, the best whiskeys of 2023 so far. We're going to do it in a flight and see if we can find the best one. Let's get it. Let's do it. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, Drinking Buddies. So Stephen is a good friend of mine. He's in a band. Uh, I'll have to link his music in the description so you guys can check out some of his music. Um, does some local shows here in Tucson, so if you're in the area, uh, definitely would be a good time. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Love to see you guys. Made friends with Josh years ago. Just uh, the thing about bourbon is how it brings us all together, the community you form, and uh, I've been learning a lot from Josh over the years. And, and vice versa. Uh, I think it's time for a little bit of... Ah, nice. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, so here as a friend, encourage you all to get out there, buy the merch, support Josh and everything that he's doing. Good dude, great family. And so, uh, yeah, ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. Should we start here or should we start here? Let's go left to right. All right. So, uh, well, all okay, so all I know is that, uh, so Josh sends a text saying, hey, we're going to do a blind, um, which is really horrifying because you're coming off like your best blind ever. That's true. I am kind of coming off a pretty good So blind. it's horrifying for me. And so <laughs> for me, I, I, I sort of get a kick out of the whiskey tube uh, universe only because I'm just like, is it good? Like picking out uh, anise, picking out baking spice. I'm still learning it all. So um, taking your advice, the best way to get into it is just to jump in. Yeah, to and I think it. that this will be kind of fun too, because that's the goal of today, is to just find out what's the best. Yeah, okay, you know, so what's the best? This isn't necessarily as okay. much about tasting notes and everything. We got to find the best whiskey of the year so far. Right. I think that's right, the goal. So that's the Here we go. Cheers, bud. Yeah, cheers, man. Oh, uh, before... Before we get too deep, I always forget to say, uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, there's a link to become a channel member in the description down below. We have a lot of fun down there. Um, got a new Discord server we just started up, and uh, yeah, great community you can join. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Right. Maple syrup on chocolate pancakes for yeah, me. Yeah, definitely got the maple right out of the gate. It's interesting because I think there's a few things for me. It's always been uh, obviously the the caramel, the vanilla, and a lot of times I pick up the maple straight away. So pick that one up right out of the gate here. Yeah, and I also I poured these about 20 minutes ago, 15, 20 minutes ago. Another thing I highly recommend you guys do out there if you're doing blinds at home, you're drinking at home, let it sit in the glass for about 15 minutes. It really helps uh, it, you know, open up, if, open up, if you will. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I, for me, and I'm still learning like everybody else on, on, on a journey here. Yeah, but definitely getting the swirl action going. Yeah. Um, they say this is up. worse. They say this is yeah, worse. Yeah, so like and Ju I did Julian uh, Van Winkle. Yeah. 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 So, but I've tried both, and I actually feel like I get less ethanol when I do the swirl, I personally. Agree. So yeah, do I it agree. to your preference, I would say. Yeah, I like, I like to see the, the, the oil and the legs and the whole thing. So, yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Oh, chili. Green chili? It's because I'm Mexican, man. Is that what's no, going on here? Or? No. Okay. All right. All right, cool. <laughs> well, I am from southern New Mexico. It would have been a good call, actually. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Spice, hello. Spicy. Hello, spice. Dark chocolate and uh, uh, green chili for me. Green chili yeah. is what this one gives me. Definitely that that chocolate um, all the way there, dark chocolate. I love the bitter. Yeah, it's it's bitter oak, bitter. like, but not in a bad way, oh, not like yeah. over oak. Yeah, not at all. Golly, sweet all the way. I mean, we we are off to a start. Yeah, I'm real. I was really curious what you would think of this one because I thought there was a pretty good chance that not only you haven't tasted it before, but but the viewers probably haven't oh, either. Gosh. Yeah, so. Now, you're talking the green chili thing. I, it's for me. It's just straight spice. I'm mm -hmm. still developing the the words on the palate, but straight spice. Definitely love the sweet. I love the dark chocolate. Whatever whatever that component was, it just and then you get hit right away with the spice right out of the gate. That's so nice. It, it's bitter. Uh, man, off to a great start here. That's a tasty one for sure. Whoa. Okay. Hang, hang on a second here. This one's a little dank, like, like a little bit of a wet, there's wet looks thing. Yeah. So, uh, 
slightly pungent, not in a terrible way though. I, for me, I, I use that word pungent. I, it's the scotch sort of references that you get sometimes. It's not always a bad thing. I think uh, obviously everybody's got their own opinion, but I definitely pick up on what you're saying, old book for sure. All right, man. A little yeah. leather here, a little leather here too. Yeah, and I'm actually, this one is like overtaking my, my, uh, Knows so much. That it's kind of true. Kind of like, like over here a little bit. I, I would I'm agree with that. Actually, maybe it. we should have started the other way. But <laughs> so I'm having to actually work in on this a little bit more. Ooh. Here's the thing on this one. I've always been second sipper all the way. The first one, I just have no which you know. I'll, I'll have like some. Uh, it's sweet or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you get more notes off the second sip. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Way, way less heat, way less spice. I don't know if it's because oh, hold up, hold, hold, hold it. Okay, now it's landing a little bit for me. All right, there, it's there. There's some heat here, but okay. it's it does come off as a little bit more quote unquote smooth as, than the first one. Oh my gosh! Because yeah. it's more classic flavors. It's more of totally. your bourbon vanillas and cherries and yeah. I would, I would, I would exactly, I would agree with that totally. So classic flavors. Vanilla, caramel, mainly vanilla, I would say, more than caramel. For me. And then a little bit of cherry there, like you said. I will make and I went cup. back for the second one. There was a yeah. lot more brown sugar on the nose than there was the second time. Like brown sugar sweetness on yeah. the nose. Yeah, and I still get a little bit of that leather, that, uh, that, that bold smell that I just love that you pick up in, in some of these bourbons and scotches. Giving me a little bit of a, if I'm going to put, since this was a, a dark chocolate bar with some, some chili in it. This one's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> There's a little bit of a cinnamon thing gotcha, on the finish yeah. there. God, what a great finish on this one too. So mm -hmm. it just sort of, it sort of just hangs around and it's so like, for me, it snuck up a little bit. Yeah. For me it did. I love that first one purely for what it is. I think it's just such a wild ride and I think it's just, it, it's an incredible pour for what it delivers. It tastes like something that you're pushing 15 years on. Yeah. But the second one, it's just more classic. It's more, it's more bourbon classic awesomeness and it it's is. it's done at like perfection i think two is it is two is I, really good i can see for a lot of folks that are really you know wanting to get more scotch type stuff you know you're picking up a little bit of that nose we we're talking about the old books uh, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff um you definitely see some overlap there as a as a, as a you know just a reference point anyway yeah solid yeah i can definitely say that glass a is going to be the youngest thing we're tasting in here but it didn't taste youthy especially it no it didn't because it did have some of that oaky bitter that I usually, for me personally, it's like age. Yeah. Usually, as I'll associate that to a lot of age. <laughs> okay, so oh. catch up here. I think three is the best nose so far. It's mapley, but in a different way than the first one. A little bit of a vanilla thing too. And there's some oak here too, some oak presence, but not in a, like an overpowering way. I concur. That just smells really good. Hmm. Ooh, well, hello. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Wow. Wow. That's okay. proofier than glass too, but it's not burning me or anything. It's just like leave, yeah. leaving that lingering tangling on oh my, my tongue, gosh. the tip of my tongue. Long finish. Man. As I talk, I'm just getting like different, like baking spice just notes layers. hitting, yeah, hitting layers. me all over my palate. Yeah, layers. Great mouthfeel on that. Like that is very viscous. It's like syrupy. Really, really yeah. nice. Yeah, totally. And, and for me, I've, and I've always enjoyed the sweet side, side of the ride. Uh, Totally, it stays sweet the entire time. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of uh, on that first sip anyway. You know, a lot of the bitter side of it, quite as much. So it'll be funny to see what you've lined up in terms of like age. And I'm curious, you know, which one's the younger, which was the older? Because the way that one played out, it's, that one's a, a big, uh, big question mark so far. Yeah, I don't. I, it's um, I can't I can't say much without being spoilery here. Yeah, but you know, there, there's some age on the table. I'll just say that there's some age on the table. Ooh, now this smells like mild. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry. 
We're still on three. Rookie move, man. It's my man. first. It's my second rodeo. Yeah, I'm not trying to give away which one might be my favorite already, but uh, I wasn't exactly excited to jump ahead so quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's cheers on this one. Let's cheers on that one as well. Sorry, it looks like I um uh, fingered. I, I, I fingered the hell out of your glass too. Like it's there's there's finger well. There's fingerprints and, and smudges all over that thing. I swear they're clean. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. You hang one, it up, you, see, you put I, it up in the light, and you're like, oh, God. The one thing I do want to do before we wrap up is, is I, I generally do, I will say in the most recent years, try to lean more into looking at color. Because before it was just sort of so excited. I, and it's not something I, I really pay yeah. much attention to. No, I don't. I should start. I should start. So before we go, I, and before final picks. <sighs> These two are much darker. The one and four. One and four for me were yeah. darker. Yep. Yeah. And the youngest one is the darkest one. Number one is the no the, the dark guy. No idea. Okay, so I'm having some trouble picking this one up because I'm still so stuck on, on this, this this one really one just one so delivered. Monster. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna it's no no shame in taking a little break. I just swirled my water, like that helps. Yeah, it does. So swirl the water. <laughs> Man, you you've totally got me turned around on this. I have you were saying that without giving it away, like you know, I don't know. This one's this one's giving me some really interesting vibes. The more I go back to it, at first I was just getting no no offense to whatever this is. The, at first when I was going in it, I was just getting ethanol. But the more I go back, the more I'm getting baking spices. Especially, it's not cinnamon and it's not nutmeg. I guess it's like an anise thing. Anise? As an anise or anise? This is a question for the audience. Anise yeah, tell us down anise. in the comments no, below. I mean, I, uh, you know, caramel. I just caramel. think, I'm pretty sure you don't want to say anise. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Got... It's not anise. I know that. I thought this was a, a family show. We were talking about a lot of sketchy things today. So. Yeah. Well, you know what? The first one was an accident, and I think that one was fairly PG-13. <laughs> I, I, I keep it PG-13. You just got to go with it sometimes. Yeah. yeah you just got to go with it. Ooh. <laughs> so on the nose, I thought this was going to be easily the worst. And Holy then I get crap. the palate and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's good. Holy crap. Sweet mother of drinking, buddy. Yeah, like literally, oh I thought God. just off the nose, I thought that was going to be noticeably worse than glass two or three because it, it wasn't delivering as much as those two on the nose. And then you take it on the palate and it's just syrupy viscosity and just yeah, washing feel. your mouth feel for days yeah, yeah that's the best mouth feel cool. that one's um uh loaded with flavor like mm -hmm. man the more i'm talking the more like it's vanilla over here there's cinnamon over here there's totally. some oak coming through Absolutely. um i did i do this one gave me that really nice sorry this one gave me that really nice yes like tingling on the tip of my tongue i do dig it when that happens that doesn't happen very often yeah. on a bourbon but this one is just well, in the, really in the words delivering. of Mike Tyson, everybody has a plan to you get punched in the face. And then you so, know what? It, it's funny. I, this I knew is, what was going on, but this now is, that one. This is something that I've, I've not necessarily noticed before. The that I, I don't know how I'm noticing this now, like four years into being a drinker of whiskey, is the, I'm getting so much more off the nose after sipping it. Yeah. Is this something that I've noticed in the past and just never put two and two together? Because now I'm getting like, there's some leather shoes here. There's some, yeah, yeah, the little cigar box. Definitely cigar quality. box. Definitely leather shoes. And it's so funny because the first time around, I didn't pick that up. Yeah, didn't at all. No, did not pick that up first time around. But here we are. The wo the roller coaster ride that this one is giving me is really, really making me jive with it for sure. Well, drinking buddies, we're probably going to go through these again. I'll probably cut yeah. this because you don't want to hear the same tasting notes twice. Um, so we're going to go through these again, and then we'll kind of give our final rankings. Okay. Yeah. All right. So so what was your least favorite? Least favorite for me, uh, drinking buddy, was your first favorite. Yeah, number two. So what's number, number two? two? Number two. Let's see. Sorry, I make them. I like to use the dark That's stickers because then I can't read it. Oh, no way. It's a three or it's an E. 
It's a three, <laughs> which means your least favorite and my favorite was cellar aged. <laughs> and I thought so. I actually thought so. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I was right on that. Yeah. Um, okay, but, yeah. so full, full disclosure, uh, weed has not been my thing. This is the only weed are up here. So there you go. That, there you that go. makes sense. Oh, hilarious. Um, I, I think this is I think this is one of the best pours I've ever had. And hey, yeah. maybe maybe some of my hype for you guys out there who weren't able to get a bottle, you can dial it down a little bit because yeah. for him, it, it didn't hit. It didn't hit as much didn't as these hit. other ones. Didn't hit. So I'll say, Maker's Mark, love you. Uh, love the BRT stuff, kind of getting into it. But I'll say like weeders for sure for me are just getting into it. And uh, yeah, and, and also I kind of feel a little good about it because I didn't get one of these bottles this year. Yeah, so. it's hard to freaking yeah. find, man. All right, so what was your second least favorite? Okay, now this one was tough. This one was tough because I felt like, for me, it was between one and three. But the one that I kept kind of going back to with the complexity and everything else that I got to save for later. So I got to say, maybe three. Three is your, your next. Oh, well, oh I'm going backwards. So I'm yeah. going fourth place here. Okay. Third place. Third place. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Give me the number. I'm pretty sure uh, you're going to be surprised by this. Okay. Four. Oh, okay. I had it wrong. I had it wrong. That's really interesting. Found North Batch Seven. Right. So uh, that was which glass for? Uh, so that was my least favorite. Whoa! I'm actually really surprised by that. I'm looking at it like there's a sticker on mine. The way you, the way you have to pour these is kind of specific when you have two people because what I do is I pour them into one glass and I mix them up and then I pour half of that glass into the other glasses so I won't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I was I, I actually thought this was going to be the the found really? north. This is the one I thought your favorite was going to be the found north, which makes this really interesting. Okay. Awesome. Because your favorite, uh, you know, I, we're, we're, we're stopping what I was about to say. Anyway, <laughs> I was about to spoil her. Next. No spoilers allowed here. All right. Uh, taking the time to run this by Trippy. We, we've had an ability to sort of convene on this, but it was straight out of the out of the gate for me. N number two for me would be the first one. That's really cool. I, I put it in third, and this is actually one okay. of my favorite pours of all time okay. because it's so unique and wild and weird, and I know exactly what it is. It's, yeah, I knew it was going to be this guy. Um, I, I love this pour. The 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 main, it's so I am new to this distiller. So this is cool, man. Yeah, Adventure uh, Stills is doing some really cool stuff. Yeah, it's and wild this ride. was this was a very limited release. I got online and I ordered it at the right time, and oh, yeah. um, uh, the, I didn't know it was as limited when I started hyping this. And now I do know this was a very limited release. So uh, don't think that you can like click a link down below and yeah. find this bottle. It's kind of gone. Um, but hopefully they have some releases similar to this in the future. And I would say that things like their regular rye and their oat ski and their single malts and their, oh, they have hundred percent corn whiskey right now. That's really good. So they have offerings that you can buy that are really good. I would pay $120 for this bottle all day. Yeah. So, so. this one was in the last two, by the way, it was all about mouthfeel. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. For, the, for me. So, uh, you know, number three and, and coming into my last one. So for me, number one, Josh. Dude, we both like what like I, I put it I put it at two and it was like a neck and neck two. So I think we kinda have to declare this one the winner because yes, I had it at two and you had number two at four. Mm -hmm. And so therefore this one you had last. So we did like a point system, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a point system, okay, this is the winner, system. and the winner is Wow. Russell's batch four. No way. Yeah. Russell's thirteen batch four. And so uh, we were talking about how there was like some complexity and some yeah. age going on in here. And there, there's, there's some like, uh, I don't know the exact breakdown, but there's some older wild turkey juice blended in here for sure. It's just the youngest juice in the barrel. Banger. The youngest juice in the bottle is going to be, uh, is going to be uh, 13 years old. So I was looking at the specific, specific batch 2023. Uh, LL is what it said on the front there. So yeah, that's the one that's like almost gone. Yeah, I already pounded it. Yeah, yeah, there's like a couple drops here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that just delivered. Um, that is, and that is the mm -hmm. one that I thought had um, so much of the, like the baking spice qualities on it that I thought it was the Found North because the Found North gives me a lot of baking spice qualities, and the the uh, the baking spice qualities of the, on here I think come from that Hungarian oak. This is why I said one of them was finished. This is also why I said they're not quite all bourbons. This would be a quote unquote bourbon mash bill because it's 83% corn, 16% uh, rye and 1% malted barley. 
but it's not even close to a bourbon because they're doing other things. They're doing finishes, they're blending it together. You know, this is gonna be a blend of corn whiskeys and rye whiskeys and malted barley whiskeys to the point where it's just not a bourbon at all, but it's bourbon adjacent is how I like to say it. Yeah. So well, it the is- the thing that blew me away is so one of your previous videos, um, I've had uh, love to our Canadian friends, but just I haven't had much in way of sort of, I love this one. Uh, this is crazy though. Yeah. Knowing, knowing what I know now and having it to taste it, uh, knowing that man, Canada coming along, man. Yeah. I mean, I think the first one for me was going to be Alberta premium cask strength. The first time I tried that, it's a rye whiskey. Rye the first whiskey, time I tried yeah. that, I was like, holy crap, Canada is delivering a rye whiskey that just absolutely slaps like 95% of American rye, And, and, uh, um, you know, it just delivers. So. Well, drinking buddies, I really appreciate all of you watching. Thank you so much for Steven for coming out. This was just so fun. Um, best bourbons of the year, best whiskeys yeah, of the year, so whatever fun. you want to call it. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm your drinking buddy.